Hey guys, so, um... Do a little... We're just gonna chit... We're just gonna chit-chat today about... Just like, no, nothing in real particular. <laughs> um... So, okay, story time. So I learned about the lap band um, the week Nikki found out her dad got uh, this job in LA and then she told me she was gonna have to move, which um, was not a fun time, I'll tell you that. Uh, but Nikki got to come with me to the meeting, which was fun, like the, I don't know, just like the meeting with the doctors and like just to learn about the lap band and what's it or whatever the info session if you will um and that was really fun we got to take the train which was fun we rode up together and then we got on the train and then we went over there um and then i listened to dr farrow speak about the lap band and stuff and then they gave they did like tests you know um they took my blood they took me to like all these machines whatever blah 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 you know, and then we found out that the insurance company wasn't going to cover the cost of the surgery um, because they they wanted me to weigh 80 pounds heavier. They wanted me to like gain 80 pounds before they would even consider it. And I was like, mom, take me to Taco Bell. I was like, let's do this. Um, and she was like, no, um, I will get arrested for child abuse. And I was like, OK, T, but uh, you get the point. Um, and it was really cool to listen to Dr. Farrow talk about just the lap in and everything because, like, in that moment, oh, it sounds so stupid, but, like, I finally had, um, hope. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I swear I'm not like that. Uh, depressed? But, um, I finally had, like, hope because, like, I could see myself, I could see my future, like, because before I was like, what, who even, like, you know, angsty teenage stuff, like, who am I? What am I? Where, like, I just couldn't, I just couldn't, like, visualize myself. But, like, hearing about the lap band and all that junk, I don't know, it just, like, gave me hope, like, yeah, okay, yes, I was like, I'm going to be skinny, I'm going to be pretty, and I'm going to be happy. And, um, wow, you know, uh, spoiler alert, skinny people are sad too. Skinny people are sad too. Wow. wow. Who would have thunk? Not me. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I know, but like, trust me, I'm not, I'm, you know, I know like, you know, everyone has that like irrational thing that they think, irrational, is that the right? I don't know, but everyone has this like one thing that they think if they get, they will be happy. And that thing changes all the time, you know? For me, it's always been skinny. You know, the diets, the 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 weight loss supplements, the the working out sometimes not a lot. Like, you know, the worrying about it, the thinking about it, and it's just this one thing in my life that's always been there that I think if this one thing were to change, my life would be completely different and I would be so much better off um if I were to not have it and like to be skinny, you know, and everyone has that thing. You, you rationalize and you're like, yeah, of course, if I get this thing, I'm going to be happier. And then it's this crazy, stupid thing that humans do. When we get the thing we want, we're not satisfied. Hashtag Hamilton. You'll never be satisfied. Um, but yeah, you just, you, you're not satisfied because that's just how we are. And I don't think there's anything like wrong with wanting things or thinking, you know, you know, and that's like another thing is like, am I a bad person for wanting this surgery? Like for wanting to be skinny? Cause sometimes it feels like it, like the worst criticism I've gotten through this whole process has been, you've changed. Um, I was happy that I got to lose weight. Turns out losing weight doesn't make you the happiest, but also you change. I'm changing. Like, yeah, I know. Um, but I don't know, just things were starting to look up for me because, you know, I got accepted to the for the surgery and then um, started making the YouTube videos. And, you know, more people were, you know, supportive. Of course, there was the people who weren't, but that's okay. That's always going to happen. That's something you have to remember is you can't please everybody, which is a really difficult lesson to learn. 
and the internet is a great way to learn that um but yeah but I don't know like some people have been telling me I changed um I don't think I've changed because I don't know but that's kind of how change works I guess like you don't realize that you're changing but everyone else does I don't know is that bad change isn't bad but like I don't know if I'm being honest I don't think I've changed I just think people are listening to me now sorry guys I don't mean to be dramatic in like the title of this video or this video in the whole um but it is true I do have a hole in my heart um I've never really had many friends I've always been the weird fat girl um but recently I've kind of realized maybe the weird part is why people didn't like me and the fat part was just the thing that made me an easy target I guess or or more so it was the thing that I could change like I can't change the fact that I'm weird I'm just weird I am <laughs> I'm I'm yeah but like the fat part of it I was like I can change that you know then I'd be a weird skinny person which you know what benefit me would would uh would help me because I feel like weird skinny people are well received but again that's another topic for another time but yeah I just you know <laughs> what I'm trying to say is maybe people didn't just like me because I was fat but it was because I'm actually a freaking weirdo there were like two people in my life that I could count on um that was my dad and my best friend and my dad died and my best friend broke my heart <laughs> um don't really have um any ill will to my dad for dying you know that's something he can't control <laughs> Wait, no, maybe don't say that you know um there's nothing that sucks more than having someone who loves you like unconditionally just turn on you like out of the blue just like nowhere and like they don't talk to you about it they don't like with no warning it's just hey here's the thing you've changed it's annoying more things and then just gone um that really sucks and like the worst part about fighting with a friend like a best friend like so like someone who knows you is they know what buttons to push like they they know what insecurities you have um like their their own insecurities and they know how to hurt you the most and then you start saying things that you don't mean and that you wish you maybe didn't say and then but then you're thinking no I'm whatever I'm rambling maybe I'm just overreacting that seems to be the theme of this month <laughs> I don't want this video to be like dramatic and cringy like a beauty guru's apology video um so why don't we end it with some like positive notes um positive vibes positive vibes um let's see I'm going to homecoming as an actual teenager with a real human being boy um with my date you know my date if you will um which is really exciting and he's very handsome um I don't know if he actually likes me likes me like that you know um I'm not sure but I have to like get it in my head that it is possible for another human being to like me you know platonic romantic you know whatever like it's possible it can happen um right I'm gonna just keep nodding my head that means it's true um but yeah who knows um the English assignment with Jared is going going great it's fun working with him um he's really smart and funny um you know and it's really nice to have a writing partner or just like a partner for a school project in general that um wants to help you and doesn't want to either completely take over the project or just have me do everything um it's a nice change of pace you know until um until I mess that up too
who. Um, so I, I guess this is kind of like my apology to Jared. Oh my gosh, it is a YouTuber's apology. I... <sighs> I'll start. <sighs> no, okay, but like, actually, seriously though, um, Jared, um, I'm sorry. I am who I am. I'm sorry that I am the way I am and I make things weirder and way more worse than they have to be. Um, it's not fair to you. I'm sorry I haven't talked to you since uh, we had that conversation. Um, my Asheville friends don't hate me yet, which is good. Um, haven't dropped the ball on that. Um, you know, and I'm still losing weight, which is great. Um, that's a plus. Gaining followers on YouTube, which thank you guys. There's still this, like, voice in the back of my head that's like, what if it's temporary? What if everything just goes back to the way it was before and it's just all for nothing and blah, 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 whatever. Um, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't mind certain things going back to the way they were. I don't know, guys. Moral of the story is change is inevitable um, unavoidable, <laughs> dread it, run from it. What's the Thanos quote? Dread it, dread it, run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. I don't know. That's like my favorite quote from that movie. I don't know. I just love it. I think it's like really good. But yeah, Thanos is right there, guys. Um, destiny or change or whatever is inevitable it's going to happen you will change and so will the people around you um and some people may not like who you become and sometimes you may not like who you become being a person is like hard this is like difficult whatever um ellie fans if you want to stampede into the comments and send some good vibes to one another um that would be awesome sending good vibes your way hopefully you know send some my way because i kind of need some good vibes right now guys i think that's it we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming soon um see you later